Ariana B. Hello, I'm beautiful back. people. This is your girl. Um, Ariana how B. have you I'm all back. been? So today I was just coming because I wanted to. I'm at 11 months exactly today, and I wanted to um, kind of look at my locks because I never got a chance to really look at my locks and see what stage they are in the lock process. So I wanted to do that today. I just finished washing my hair. Um, Last week, I actually washed my hair with the Suave Clarifying Shampoo. I wanted to try that out. And it really got my hair clean. It felt like, I don't know why, but the Sister Lock Shampoo, it doesn't seem to really clean my hair. So, I just finished washing my hair and this time I used the Sister Lock Shampoo. But, I, yeah, my hair is still damp. It's like, I say 50% wet still. Um, certain areas are starting to dry. But I was actually going to blow dry my hair. I just didn't get a chance to do it yet. And um, I just used a regular cheap blow dryer that I got from the beauty supply store. Alright, let me get into my lock phases. At 11 months, I want to go through some of my locks and kind of see what phase they are. Um, I was doing a little bit of research and there's four stages to locking. The first stage is, of course, um, the baby stage. Once you get your hair in the interlock pattern, that is considered the baby stage. Um, the second stage is considered the teen stage, budding stage, um, swelling stage. And basically, that's when your hair um, kind of resists the lock pattern. Whatever lock pattern you start with, your hair kind of resists that. So, um, you'll see that some of your locks might start unraveling on the ends or it's, uh, it swells up. Um, it's not, it's not small or still in that, well, it's still in the interlock pattern. Or even if you have coils, you'll notice that your hair tries to resist the coil or it'll try to resist the braid pattern or the twist pattern. Um, so that's pretty much the teen stage, the rebellious stage, um, some people like to say. Then the third stage is, of course, the adult stage. That is, from what I hear, the stage that your hair is in the longest. That stage is basically when your hair starts to lock. Um, it starts to, instead of just being little buds on the end, it'll um, your hair will start to actually matte and condense in the middle and then go towards the ends to actually lock so um yeah that is the stage where your hair instead of swelling is trying to compact and trying to find each other and lock into that pattern and then the fourth phase is the mature phase that is when your hair is actually locked um from the i would say not necessarily the root, but almost the root to the end. That is the stage where, well, that stage is self-explanatory. Your hair is locked. Um, it's mature. There's no more braiding, banding. Your hair isn't unraveling. Um, it's not necessarily swelling anymore. It's an even, compact, tight lock. So let's just go ahead and look at my hair. I'm just going to pull random locks in. Hold it up against a white piece of paper. I hope you don't mind that this paper has lines in it, but I just ripped it out of my composition book. Okay, I'll just take one of these and I hope you can see this really well. Let me look at this one in the mirror. I'm going to say that this is, my hair is definitely not in the baby stage anymore. Um, I believe because my hair is so long, my budding stage, I haven't noticed too many buds. My hair coils. Um, I went through in the beginning, like maybe the first two months, where it looked like my hair was trying to unravel at the ends. And as you notice, it doesn't appear to be unraveled. My hair coils really tightly. And my middle locks... I'm going to show you. They look like lock. They look completely locked, but they're not. So I'm going to say that these locks, I'll just show you. I want to say that these locks are exiting 
they're exiting the second stage and are trying to go into the third. From what I can see, it appears that they're trying to lock from the middle and work its way down. All of my locks in the middle look just like that, all of them. Let me see if I can find my favorite lock in the front. This one. Okay. If you notice this lock, I hope you can see it. It's shorter than all the other locks in the front. Um, let me hold up. If you can already see it, it's, com it's way shorter than all the other locks in the front. Let me hold up. Three. This is the lock. I feel like this lock is... Um, Pretty much how the ones in the middle are doing. As you can see, these, they have the same texture going on, but these are still fairly long. Let me see. I do have locks. I have a couple of locks in the back. They are locked, completely locked. It's not coming out. This is my, one of my locked locks. I don't know if it's just, it's not a knot. This is one of the locks I get wet every time. This one, I'm having maybe three locks in the very back row that are locked. They're not coming to loose. Let me find one. One of them actually do have a bud on the end. See if I can find it. I probably should have prepped and put rubber bands. But of course, I did tell you all that my hair texture in the back is a looser curl pattern. Let me see. That's not a bud. That's an actual knot. Okay. This one. But it has an actual bud on the end. If you can see that. And the rest of the lock, it has a matte, a matte appearance to it. It looks like it's matted. And then it has like a little bud on the end. So I don't know if it's going to let me try to move all these locks out the way. This is way harder than it looks. I probably should have had like a rubber band or a hair tie or something, but I don't plan. I don't plan things out as thorough as I should probably. Um, but you can see how it's skinny here and then it's kind of frizzy and thicker here, like all the way here on up and then you can see my new growth well i don't know if you can see my new growth my new growth isn't as it's not as frizzy it's thick but it's not frizzy this part is i don't know if y'all can tell but yeah it's just my hair is starting to draw up into the lock pattern I think that's what it is, or it might just be because my hair is wet, but um, this is an assessment for all of us, so y'all leave comments and tell me what y'all think my hair is doing, what phase it's in, if it's in the baby phase and I'm just tripping and don't know what I'm talking about, or if it's in the budding phase, swelling. Um, I know it's definitely in a swelling phase because all of my locks are thicker, pretty much thicker from when they first started. But um, let me know if you think any of them are in the adult phase or are entering into the adult phase. Um, I know I don't have any mature locks. Well, I do have a mature lock. I'm not going to lie. That one lock is mature. It's completely locked. Like, it's not coming out. That one is, I wet that one all the time. It's not coming out. It's not unraveling. It's not going to do anything except for continue to grow and get longer. And then I have this one lock. I want to cut it. Of course, all of all my interesting locks are in the back. I have this one lock that it doesn't shrink. It doesn't anything. It's just my one unruly lock, I guess. From the beginning, from day one, it has been like this. And, um, okay, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I messed this lock up. This was one of the locks that unraveled and I tried to fix it by braiding it back up. Like I braided it. <laughs> I think this is the one I braided. 
I'm not sure. It doesn't look like a braid. It looks like interlocking pattern, but this is one of the locks that it doesn't swell, shrink, curl up, or anything. Oh, I should have showed you these. These are not buds. These are locks that had locks on them, that had knots on them from day one. And you can see they are, I don't even know. I think they're still doing something, but what is this? Um, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is something that's starting to happen. My, maybe my hair is starting to lock right here. Um, but that's one of the locks that had a knot on it. This lock is my favorite lock. <laughs> this is one of the locks that had a knot on the end. And you can see it's always way longer than all the other locks. But you can see it's, of course, not doing anything because this knot. But this is how skinny my locks were in the very beginning. Can't find the other one now. Maybe it's one of these. Yeah. And this will give you an idea of how long my hair was when I started. This lock starts right here. And it's here. But, um, as you can see, it's still in the interlock pattern. It's not swelling or anything how the other ones are. It's just straight. Straight, 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 straight. And then it has a knot on the end of it. This is a good looking one. Let's see. Yeah, this one is definitely doing something because it's super thick. Um, here is my coil. Um, I told you my hair is, hasn't started budding. It just started coiling. As you can see, all of this here is a coil. And then this is where my hair is drawing up. Because it's super thick right here. This is my new growth interlock. And then you can see the frizzy, super thick. Let me just show you a couple of the ones in the middle again. I hope you can see it. I hope I'm in the actual, I'm actually in the camera. But, um, I just wanted y'all to see my hair, like, lock for lock. I'm, all, I'm over here because it's a mirror, so I'm trying to find certain locks. But, let's have a look at my hair. It stretches a lot. That's pretty much, I, I feel like my hair is um in, it's still in, of course, the teenage phase. I don't see much budding, but I definitely see a lot of swelling. And I definitely see signs of the adult phase because um I'm going to be completely honest, my hair does not unravel. Uh, even though I still braid and band, it, it does not unravel. It's so tightly coiled on the ends when I wet my hair or if I leave a couple sometimes when I wash my hair I don't even put all the locks into the band like you know how you twist really fast and then band it some it be certain locks that's left out and they do not unravel I don't have an issue with it I'm not going to stop braiding and banding until my consultant tells me to but I feel like if I were to wash my hair um it wouldn't unravel. That's how I feel. I don't know for certain. I'm not going to risk it, but that's my assessment of my hair. 